A single person's opinion can be very helpful whenever you're looking for your next favorite whiskey. But what about a community-wide review with over 30,000 opinions from whiskey drinkers around the world? We're doing it neat. On the rocks. Cocktails. But we start with the most critical question of all. What does Jameson Irish whiskey sound like? <laughs> It is time to bring on the flavor cloud for Jameson Irish Whiskey. <laughs> Can you move your elbow? Don't look. <laughs> okay. The two of you will compete to name the most frequently tasted flavors the flavor cloud is a visual representation of the flavors whiskey drinkers are collectively finding in Jameson Irish whiskey. The bigger a word appears means more people are tasting that specific flavor in their whiskey. Flip a Glen coin to see who claims the honor of first flavor. Do you want the shield or the eye on this one? The eye. Oh, the eye. Shield. Ah, damn. <laughs> the contestants are locking in and sending their answers now. <laughs> You're Googling flavors? <laughs> Gentlemen, both of you, lock in your first flavor. Mine's locked in. It's faster too. Bonus points for speed. Rex, the first flavor is yours. Can't see both of y'all at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> this is a horrible idea. Rex. Your answer of shortbread is worth 51 points. Oh, okay. Daniel. Yes? Your answer of butter is worth 58 points. Yes. Oh, I'm close. I'm still in it. Feeling so pep now? Yeah, you know I got this. That was, uh... All right, it's time for the next round. <laughs> <laughs> Can we send it in? Here, it's a race. Mine was already typed up. I just hit send. Right. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Rex, you chose vanilla. 71 points. Wow, that's less than I would have thought. Oh, hold on, my Snapchat group called Buttfeed just showed up. <laughs> Buttfeed? Butt <laughs> Daniel, your flavor of citrus yeah. is worth seven. Uh -huh. oh. 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 oh! All right, gentlemen, the final round. Please submit your final answers. You're gonna feel so <clears throat> stupid for not having said this flavor. Your flavor was honey. 38 wow. points. Wow. That's actually less than I thought. Mm. Daniel, mm -hmm. your flavor was Jameson. <laughs> Is worth uneasily oh, three mm. points. <laughs> so three people for Jameson. Mm. The final scores are in, and we have in first place, Rex with 160 points. Oh, you, see, you see the thing where you go. Yeah, is that what it was? That's how you fly. You just prep to victory. So what do you win? That's Your not prize. <laughs> it's a hat. It's a Peter's laptop. It's Peter's laptop. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Oh, this is a new laptop. Peter, what's your password? <laughs> Peter? <laughs> Uh, you're not good. Respect the rules of the game, Peter. Yeah, no. The hat has chosen. I, 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 I. So we can see the flavor cloud now? Yes. yes. Okay, so what were the top five oh. flavors that people named? The top five flavors were vanilla, mm -hmm. butter, shortbread, apple, and ah. honey. Oh, apple. And honey. Well, I got honey. Yeah. 
I think we got... We missed Apple. Yeah, we didn't say Apple. We didn't say Caramel. That was a huge one. I was actually going to write down Apple instead of Jameson, but then I went for L. Lowell's. So those are the collective tasting notes that most whiskey drinkers are experiencing in Jameson. Irish whiskey, we're going to try it on ice, we're going to try it on cocktails. We asked the Whiskey Tribe, first, how do you drink the Jameson Irish whiskey? 51% drinking it neat, 23% on the rocks, 26% in a cocktail. All right, let's see what happens. We saw all the flavors that people are collectively yeah. experiencing. Let's see what happens with the Jameson. Yeah, because sometimes, yeah. sometimes you want something different than a neat pour of whiskey, and you can explore your favorite whiskey with ice and cocktails, or you can sort of be introduced to whiskey through ice and cocktails. Okay, so the vanilla icing, it's, uh, you were saying it's a specific angle of vanilla. Yeah, almost aluminum metallic. I have a conjecture, which is in my memory, Jameson vanishes very quickly on ice. I think we should kind of move a little quick on that taste. Okay. Oh, yeah, it is a very low proof. This is 80 proof, 40% ABV. Yeah. Okay, it's still Jameson, but now it's just vanilla butter. Yeah. Like a buttercream vanilla. I still get like the artificial vanilla carried with that kind of the thin honey. It reminds me of, I mean, this is a weird thing, but it reminds me of flavored butter. Like, have you ever eaten in a restaurant and they give you like the little butter pate, but it's got honey in it, or it has uh, oh, yeah, sweetness yeah, yeah. in it? Yeah, yeah, Okay, so I think there's a lot of whiskeys out there that were intended for people to be putting them on the rocks or mm -hmm. maybe in a cocktail, and some are intended to be oh. neat pour. Second sip? Yeah? No, yeah. I really, I like the first sip. Yeah, second sip, it's already going away. You gotta do this one quickly if you wanna still taste whiskey. Yeah, every time you go back, it does lose a bit. Yeah. But I think this is probably a whiskey that is made for people that aren't used to high proof. Yeah, very approachable in that sense. Not looking for a wall of flavor, mm -hmm. right? They're not trying to prove anything. It does absolutely get dulled down a lot, but it is sweet and friendly and accessible. I still like it for just an, an easy, invisible background sip. It's almost whiskey. refreshing at this point. Would you rather neat pour or on the rocks neat this pour. whiskey? Really? Yeah. I actually prefer this chilled. Mm. The speed with which the ice dilutes it, it's way too quickly, even yeah. with a few minutes. So I would chill this, maybe yeah, in the fridge, fridge, or, fridge yeah. or even a freezer if you like it really cold. But uh, yeah, I like it cold. Hey, let's I'm, do a cocktail. I don't want a cocktail. You go away. Hey, you like cocktails, right? I love cocktails. Okay. Well, this... Whoa! That's... Uh, a cocktail. Yeah. A bad one. <laughs> <laughs> Is this an Irish mule with Jameson? Yes. All right, let's see what happens with Jameson in an Irish mule with the really expertly crafted cocktail by our video editor. Ooh, that's, re that's refreshing though. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's, um, you know what it's doing? It is absolutely covering up every recognizable bit of Jameson. Yeah, I can really mainly just taste the uh, ginger, ginger beer, beer and a bit of the lime. Yeah. And then anything that's alcohol under there, that ginger bite is hiding every bit of alcohol. It's actually very tasty, but what I'm looking for in a cocktail is to have these nice accenting flavors, but I still want to recognize the whiskey that was originally yeah. in there. Question, is this a double or a single? It's a single. Oh, what are we doing? We should What are we double. doing? We, we should have gone double. double. What's more, Dan? Should we tip him? Just, I got, I got you, Yeah, you tip him. I got a tip. You How much you got? Here. Uh, That's not money. It's, a, it's. Dance for it. <laughs> Now, I know we've been talking about Jameson, but if you like Jameson, I've got another whiskey I think you would enjoy. Now, I chose this whiskey because, like Jameson, it has that kind of vanilla cream, and like Jameson, it has that shortbread cookie, only it doubles down on the shortbread. The vanilla is more of a vanilla cream and less metallic vanilla, and it adds green apple and coconut, and that whiskey is green spot. Now, this whiskey, also made by Middleton, the same distillery that makes Jameson. This, however, is a single pot still Irish whiskey, which means, it, unlike Jameson, it doesn't have the grain whiskey blended into it. And it's aged seven to eight years in a mix of bourbon and sherry casks, and it's reasonably priced in the 50 to $60 range. Yes, coconut, green apple, and shortbread vanilla on the nose. and a nice kind of a low proof soft cream to the palate. 
This video is sponsored by Masterworks.io. Masterworks is a blue chip art investing platform that gives a chance for virtually anyone, not just high rollers, to invest in important artwork by recognized artists and earn a profit when that art appreciates and sells. Is this legit? That was my first question. After reading through several blogs and reviews, yes, this is a real way to invest. Masterworks is the first company to offer paintings filed with the Securities and Exchange Commission as public offerings. Typically, you can't invest in artwork unless you buy the painting outright, but Masterworks files each artwork with the SEC like a company that is going public and issuing shares. Next question, why art? Well, according to Masterworks, art has outperformed the S&P by 168% from 1995 to 2021, while showing almost zero correlation to any other asset class. Also, like any other asset, there's a way to invest in it. And if you're interested in the work of widely recognized artists like Monet or Banksy, Masterworks fractional investing platform is a way to participate in a market that's been exclusive to the super rich until now. Last question, is Rexy even fancy enough to invest in high-end art. First of all, how dare you? Actually, a few people in my family have been collecting art for decades. It's a cool thing to deep dive into if you're so inclined. Just remember, like whiskey, there is not one perfect investment for everybody. But if you find the art scene interesting, it's definitely worth checking out masterworks.io to see if it's the right fit for you. And you can skip the waitlist right now with our URL, masterworks.art slash whiskey. It's super easy to sign up. Just a couple of clicks and you're able to see the pieces you can invest in. Plus, there's no commitment with Masterworks secondary market. You don't have to wait for the art to be sold at auction to sell your shares to other users. Masterworks.art slash whiskey. Go check it out. All right, it's time to figure out exactly how much people like or dislike Jameson. On Peter's laptop, thank you very much, Peter, for your generous donation. Best whiskey is whiskey you like to drink the way you like to drink it. On a scale of one to five stars, how much are you enjoying the Jameson Irish whiskey? 3% said one star. It's horrible. They do not like it. Two stars, 25%. It's pretty meh. Three stars, the barely majority of the people, 54% said it's good. It's a good whiskey. Four stars, great, was 15%. Five stars, Magnificent in every way, coming in at 3%. So collectively, according to a massive community of whiskey lovers, Jameson Irish Whiskey comes in an average score of 2.9 stars. You should probably think of a more dramatic way to do that. Let's hop on down to the comments. Kevin Nellis has the number one top comment. Jameson is like your old friend from high school. He may not be many people's absolute favorite, but you can take him to a party and he'll get along with everyone. A great, simple crowd pleaser. I think I agree with that. A pretty good entry whiskey for a lot of people who are getting into the scene, but it starts to become a little bit too tame and simple, and then you start exploring other things. What whiskey do you think we should do next in the comments below? Whiskey Tribe tries what? What do you recommend? Put it in the comments. What's happening? Where did... What's happening? What are you doing? I'm lost. Where did, where did they all go? Where is everything? This, I don't like your laptop, Peter. I don't want this anymore. 